I did never before a video on the updates of FL Studio. But this new beta is simply awesome. Hi. In this video, we will go through all of the changes I could figure out from the new 20.9 Beta 1 version. Improved Undo. Most changes made in FL Studio itself can now be undone and redone. See General Settings, Undo History for Alternate Undo mode that steps through Undo rather than alternates Undo Redo. In the previous versions, Ctrl Z toggled between Undo and Redo. For multiple Undo, you had to use Ctrl Alt Z, which wasn't the end of the world, but felt unnatural to many users. Now we've got a new option under the General Settings tab to enable Alternate Undo, which does now multiple undos with just Ctrl Z, and Redo is now Ctrl Alt Z. This is where you can see a little misbehavior. Redo opens up the current project history folder. Channel settings. Right click, type in value. Channel pitch bend range control now allows semitone values. In the old version, there were just the 0 to 1 values. Now we've got tabs for pitch and the old behavior, where we can now type in values in cent. 100 cent equals 1 semitone. Control Surface. Added a Show Labels option to show or hide control labels. By right-clicking on the background, there's a new option to show or hide the labels of knobs and buttons. Piano Roll. Added an option to preview notes as they are mouse-clicked into the piano roll during playback. This is a biggie for me. In previous versions, if you've got a pattern or song playing, and shift the notes around, it ended always up in a tonal mess. The new beta allows you to choose to just hear the edits while in stop mode, but to be silent when you are playing the pattern. Automation Clip Channel Settings Automation Editor with parameter being edited shown below in the editor window includes the ability to edit the target links. This is absolute awesome. I always hated having to zoom in into the playlist to edit automation clips. For me this was wasted time and effort and made things simply just cumbersome. But this is gone. Have a look at this beauty. Not only that the zoom nightmare is gone, but finally values don't get changed anymore when adding new points, other if you want it so, by adding points away from the graph. Second, there is a complete new system added to manage the links to the parameters. All link parameters are listed here with a bunch of options. Hit the plus button, tweak the parameters you want to link to that automation, when you are done, click the plus button again. You can move now as many parameters as you like and they get added to the list. Hitting plus again to go out of the mode. Remove a parameter from being affected by this clip. This is very handy when you have situations where you want sometimes to automate a certain parameter and in other places of the song not. Open the link to controller window for the selected parameter. Very nice. Locate target link parameter. No more hunting for which parameter this might be. If it's selectable, it gets selected. For parameters which aren't, what about a little animation to hint you to the right spot? I love it. Playlist. Playlist tracks are now selectable. Control up down arrows now selects a track. Control Alt and up down arrow extends the selection. This is the next biggie so many people were waiting for. Finally, we can apply actions to multiple playlist tracks. Delete, reset, 
move them as a group. And again, many people were waiting for adding plugins to multiple audio or instrument tracks in one go. This opens up a whole new world. Edison. Apply visualization options without closing the menu when right click is used. When you go into this view menu, you can now activate different entries with a right click and the changes apply while the menu stays open. This makes it easier to try out different visualizations without having to reopen the menu over and over again. Toolbar. Added a toolbar button to change set language. If you go into edit mode, there is now a new button available to change the language directly from the toolbar. Perhaps some of you can make use of it. Maximus and limiter. Added a menu option to disable the minus 0.2 dB safety margin. There was before a fixed behavior of a minimum headroom of minus 0.2 decibels for the limiter and maximus. These plugins got now an additional menu entry to enable this behavior or not. Mixer. Allow arming a mixer track that doesn't have an external audio input open. I have honestly no clue what this shall be. In previous positions, I am able to arm mixer tracks as well, if no input is selected. Sample length. Support huge samples when saving, loading and editing. 64-bit lengths instead of 32 bits. I personally never ran into this situation, but it seems there was a problem for some people who had very big audio files loaded. Support context-aware values. Right-click type in values for a whole bunch of native plugins. It's nice to see that more and more plugins got now the ability to enter values numerically. So in these plugins you can now type in Hertz values for filter cutoff or whatever units the parameter is working with. It's still a bit cumbersome though to go first into the menu to be able to bring up the value window. I would really like to see a modifier shortcut like we have with renaming stuff. But anyway. Warnings. FL Studio show a warning when trying to make a playlist selection unique and a lot of clips are selected. Are you sure? If you made for example a playlist selection which selects all clips automatically and run the action make unique from the menu. FL Studio now asks you again if you want to apply this really to all of these clips and let you cancel the operation if not. Windows File Browser Replaced all folder selection windows with the modern OS File Browser window. In previous position there were in some places an older and reduced File Browser window which is now replaced by the standard version of your OS. Generic Selectors for a selected channel, change from single click to double click to select all channels. This drove many people nuts, that as soon as a generator was already selected, a single second click suddenly selected all. This is gone now. Select all now only happens by double clicking, but if a generator was selected before and you click on it a second time, it stays the only selected one. Merge Clips now works for all selected clip types. In the previous position we had just merging of pattern and automation clips, while merging automation clips was already a little sensation, added not long before. This feature got now simplified and applicable for any type of clips. Ctrl G was renamed from Merge Pattern Clips to Merge Selected Clips and can finally merge as well audio files with a simple consolidation. Another great new addition. Burn to MIDI. Additional reset options for swing and arpeggiator pop up after selecting burning MIDI. In the previous position there was just a yes or no option for resetting certain parameters which got now rendered into the new pattern. With this better, there is a new window where you can define yourself what you want to reset or not.
Right-click Controls menu. Edit Edit Automation Clip option when a control has automation. There is a last addition to the handling of automation. This sounds so little, but has such a big impact. With the new editor window for automations, we have seen how easy it is now to identify which parameter are linked to this clip. But there's the other side of the metal, how many times one could come into a situation where you didn't know anymore which automation clip does the changes to a certain parameter. You had to right click the parameter to open the link to controller window. Having a look what name the automation clip got and hunting around in the picker panel or in the playlist for this particular clip. Now this is a single click operation. Well, two to be honest. Want to again right click the parameter and the second one for this wonderful new entry. Edit automation clip. And there it comes again. Our beautiful new editor window where you can change anything you like. For example, easily delete the link. There are of course a lot more smaller changes and fixes included. Please read the forum posting for more information. I was long time very disappointed by many of the last updates, as for my issues there were often no improvements. But this new beta just blows me away. This is really a great update with many of the long awaited features and improvements. Enjoy! and thank you for watching.